All right. Esper reanimator or Esper control with a clickbait title or Esper control with a with a way to actually close the game out. Whatever whatever you want to call it here. So we've got we've got a kind of coreish Esper control deck with cleansing Nova as a little bit more flexible sweeper, and then we've got some actual creatures in here that are capable of closing out games along with uh, Connive concoct plus uh, Eldest reborn as ways to flip them back into play after. After they've died, um, let's just go ahead and jump into it, shall we? It's possible this deck might want a Kaya or two in the 75, just because that card is very, very good against Mono Blue. Could maybe be reasonable. Kaya coming around to being playable is just like such a testament to like the power level of things being contextual to the format, right? Like when that card first came out, many, myself included, just like, like this card's not really going to do anything anywhere, but there's just a tier one deck now that has so many one drops in it that's very, very reasonable. Huh, I think I just Jade Light here. Take Jade Light. Tefri sounds great. Obviously, I need another land here, but Tefri seems reasonable as a keep there. Ha! <laughs> I wonder, do I, do I connive an elf next turn? Is that, is that unreasonable? No, connive is power. It's power X or less. I think I do actually. I think I just want to use. I think I've got like so many fives in my hand. That I just want to like use my mana this turn. Contempt, but then hopefully Lyra sticks around. Woof. That's basically unbeatable from this position. Hey, Vestica, thanks for the prime support. I appreciate that. Thanks for keeping me around. All of our all of our giant flying creatures like this are really bad against Soul Time. It's unfortunate to draw all three of them here. I just assumed they were gonna have more than one removal spell, and that the, the second or third one would eventually stick. And if the first Lyra sticks, I don't it doesn't matter if I have an extra one stuck in my hand. Because, like, the first Lyra sticks and is going to hang the, hold the board down really nicely. Is it Consecrate Consume matchup? It might be. Stroke's definitely good. Hostage Taker's good. Moment of Craving's probably a little bit medium. A genuine walrus. Thanks for the four month three sub. I appreciate that. Welcome back. I guess Mortify is not amazing here. Generally worse than just cast down. Funny. 
funny. We have we switched from gates to a real deck and we dropped like 300 viewers. It's gonna be it's gonna be amusing to see how many we go down to when we switch to mono blue up next. Venris, thanks for the quarter of a year. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Ben Cook, thanks for the two months. Thanks for keeping me around. Welcome. Get this, get this normal stuff out of here. Exactly. Try hard, pay to win, BS. Everybody who keeps asking me about why the cards we're playing, people gave me a duck list. Are y'all new? There's a bunch of people with like really big sub badges asking me why we're playing cards that we're playing. Y'all, come on now, y'all. Net deckers are the filth of the planet. Imagine, just like, look at this board. Imagine this was Kaya's Wrath, right? Any land lets us cast this. I'm gonna go ahead and steal this for now. How do you beat Gates? With very aggressive starts. Aggressive starts backed up by Counter Magic. Wild Growth Walker is one of your best cards in Salta against Gates. Just because it grows out of range of their Gates of Blades type effects. All right, two shots at a land. Two shots at a land. Two shots at a land. Let's do it. Look at that. All right. Any other questions about Kaya's Wrath chat? Any other questions? Anyone else? Kaya's Wrath, any, any questions? All right, good, excellent. Thanks for being here. <laughs> but Jeff, yeah, Kaya's Wrath. Being able, being able to kill artifacts and enchantments is not irrelevant either. Like being able to sweep away wilderness reclamations and copies of, copies of what's it called? Are like pretty, pretty reasonable. Withhold that thought. All right, I'm hoping they don't have like a cast down here. If they have a cast down, they can kill my hostage shaker and then attack my Tefri, which would feel bad. I like their contempt pre-combat here because this lets them see if I have a counter spell before they decide where to send their creatures. Because like now I get, they're gonna to both attack Tefri. Entered garbage time as we like to refer to it round here the game our opponent hasn't lost the game yet but the game is over and they can no longer win This deck is this deck is Esper Control with win conditions in it. It's literally literally all the deck is. Again, my biggest the biggest thing I don't like about stock Esper Control in this format is that it's trying to win the game with Tefri Ultimates. Like that's that's super miserable. Again, going back to the Kaya's Wrath versus Cleansing, whatever discussion, I get it. You look at all the lists, but it's not strictly right or strictly wrong. And if you want to tell me it's strictly wrong, 
make a discussion about it. You gotta, you gotta have, you gotta bring up, bring up the whys. Talk about the big reasons. There's gonna be situations where one is definitely better than the other, but it's not all the time or not all the time. And if you just say, hey, you're an idiot, all the other players do it, you should do it too. Like, that's not welcome in chat, because that's not being contributing anything, anything to the discussion. They did play a Karn. One, one singleton Karn. You are, you are correct. There was one singleton Karn. I think I really can't understate how good the hidden mode is on that card. It's very, very potent. All right, I think we just take Krasis here and then hopefully get to Cleansing Nova this board at some point. Search for, search for Ez Kansas is going to help us curve our way up into five lands. And, like, Cleansing Nova was much better than Kaya's Wrath because it was castable in the last game. But, like, this game, you know, it's definitely looking a lot worse, right? Like, being able to cast the Sweeper next turn would be ideal. Right, they're missing a land. I think I still just search for Ez Kanta here. Okay, they might they might just take my cleansing Nova here. It'll be interesting to see. They could take Nova or Cast Down. Greed shall end us all, chat. Our greed shall end us all. put a stop on their upkeep and contempt this during their upkeep so that they can't like draw a blue source for a counter spell. If they go like land Vivian we're gonna be a little bit sad but if they don't go land Vivian we're gonna be in a good spot. Say something. If you have to ask, you can't afford it. to draw a land tier so we can contempt plus hold up sabotage Neat. 
my newest friend. I just have to hope they don't have a counter spell here. Although if this if this gets the counter spell, that's kind of good for us, because it means like I got to use my mana this turn, which is nice. I don't think we're gonna be able to slog through the crisis now, though. Is the issue? I'll be back, just like before. We got ground out. Just doing this now while they're not holding Vraska's Contempt up. Maybe this can drag us back into the game. The problem is we have to like deal with this Thief of Sanity plus whatever the other cards are on top of their deck and in their hands. Yeah, with cards like Thought Erasure, and Siren Storm Tamer, the stock in a card like uh, Deputy Attention goes way, way up. So because they knew this is coming, they probably have a land or something terrible in their hands. So let's just Discovery. Try and dig for a direct answer. Yikes. I'm going to draw a third land here. Concede. Yep. Got it. Should just let the Thief of Sanity hit us, chat. Obviously. Obviously. Easy game, easy life. <laughs> hey, should probably I should probably start using my called shots power for good. There really are only twenty four lands in here, huh? Add Yeah, I could dispersal on their turn, but that's not the point. The point was it's not gonna get rid of the Thief of Sanity, so it doesn't really matter. I'm uh, digging for an answer to the Thief of Sanity. Dispersaling the Thief of Sanity is a temporary solution to a very permanent problem. That's the that's the that's the issue. Just get closer and closer to actual Esper control. That's probably the correct solution to most things. Can I have a pretty reasonable card in general? It's like being being able to take their Thief of Sanity is like pretty good. Seems like negative card. What does that even mean? Negative. Seems like negative card advantage. What? <laughs> oh, Twitch chat. All right, mods. Just as a heads up, aggressively start timing people out that start asking why Kaya's wrath without telling me why. It's better. That's them's what the channel rules state. I've been I've been real lenient. I'm tired of it though. Wow, did you double radical idea? Let's go dig in. Well, those are not the droids we're looking for. 
a pretty good spot here. What did that guy is tab? War Kite Marauder with four Knive for the sweet combo. That is kind of a sweet combo, isn't it? I would take Storm to a Grand Prix before I played Spirits, but I'm also, like, not a huge fan of Spirits as an archetype. Keep up the pace. Okay, okay. What you got over there? Please be gentle. Not really looking for a moment of peace. Moment of craving, whatever this card's called. Let's go ahead and shoot that one. Opponent will check out their options here. So probably going to Sinister Sabotage, chart a course next turn when they cast it. They assume they're gonna be digging for, digging for a bird. So I can't, I can't sabotage them discarding a bird here. So I'm sinister sabotaging the charter cores to kind of cut them off of seeing cards to get to a phoenix here. I think I actually leave that there. I'm just like interested in drawing a bunch of cards here. So post board, they get some counter spells. I think duress is fine. Contempt seems okay here. I think moment of craving is actually good here, just because they do have goblins in their deck. Kaya's wrath and cleansing nova, I think, are both probably a little bit too slow. Connive to take their electromancer actually seems kind of funny. Oh, cry of the canariums, I'm certain here, right? Just like goodbye birdies. I think Lyra is probably better than both of these. Trim a Mortify. Mortify is probably pretty good at killing Drakes. I'm going to trim a Discovery. Uh, there's three copies of Cry of the Canary in our list. Consecrate Consume. Yeah, I guess that does take care of the bird out of the bin, doesn't it? Yeah, you're super right. Those should be in my deck. Kills a Drake too. Yeah, you're right. Uh, the two Consecrate should be in my deck. Do we need mods? Nah, we're the this is the best moderated channel on Twitch. Plenty of mods. Hey, Zazzy, I appreciate the quarter of a year. Welcome back. Zazzy. Yep, there's a bird. Interesting that they left Tormenting Voice in against us. Just gonna go ahead and burn my mana this turn. Sure. Getting getting a spell pierce used there feels pretty reasonable unless they discard two. If they discard a second bird, we're gonna be in trouble. It was not a second bird, and they didn't bring the first one back, so that's excellent for us. the birds coming back this turn 
If they double burn us, we're going to be a little bit sad. I guess if they double bird this turn, we just Chemister's Insight. I probably Chemister's Insight anyway, just like dig for a cry or, an, or, a, or a thing. Lyra, Lyra could definitely be considered a thing. I wonder if they brought in Bacon Bolt or not. If they don't have Bacon Bolt, they probably have Rao, right? Okay, just do this since we drew it. Maybe, maybe I'm supposed to hold that until they have multiple birds in play. But like, we know they don't have a bird in their hand, but they see so many cards every turn. That might be worth waiting. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I'm supposed to wait a turn there. Yeah, that's true. Even after they kill Lyra, I've got like two concocts in my hand, right? Spyglass. That's rude. This is this is naming Tefri. That makes me it makes me happy to have uh, have only three Tefris in my deck. Yeah, I should have played the land that they know about. I guess that's not strictly true because I kind of want a fourth blue source. This name Tefri, right? Read. You ready to go toe to toe with me? Some bad news for you. I actually boarded out the Cleansing Novas and the Kaya's Wraths, which I think is right here, but. No, for sure. Oh. Sure. Yeah. This can, this can stay there. Might, I might actually put Cleansing Nova back in for the third game if there is one because of Sorcerer's Spyglass. They don't have another Rail or a Beacon Bolt. We should be pretty good here. Even if they do have a Yikes, that's... Uh, well then. Um, whale Shoot. Alright, I get it. We're done. I want Consecrate. I think I want Cleansing Nova. Consume does kill Nova as well. You are not wrong. All right, let's try this. Niv Mizzet is one rude dude. He's a big in. All right. Who's got two thumbs is going to die with two lands in play. This guy right here. Thanks for being here, Rykat. I hope you're having a good Monday. I'm glad. I'm glad you feel welcome here. That's my goal is to have have all decent, reasonable people feel welcome here. We hit our third land drop, and it was both our third, our second blue source and our second black source. I don't know what I don't know what this wizardry is, but I'll take it. We're just gonna let that resolve and then cast cry next turn. Oh gosh, we even drew a fourth land, so we can exile a Ralzeric if they untap and play one. I'm so I'm so confused, Chad. I don't I don't know what's going on. Well, 
If they probably just can't beat this card at this point, right? Like they need like double, double bird spell. Think I could fit anything else in here with my foot chat? You think? You think there's space for things aside my foot in my mouth at the moment? No room, I don't I didn't think so, and I just wanted to check. If Tefri draws a land, we can mortify the crackling Drake. If Tefri draws a land, we can mortify the crackling Drake. And then like we kinda run away with it. Uh oh. We're halfway. That's true. If he resolves. They could have they could have a spell pierce. Alright, I guess I'm just supposed to pass here. Don't dive me down, bro. Okay. All right. So you're saying there's a chance. I would like the record to reflect for all the naysayers out there that the land was on top. But playing around Spell Pierce is probably correct. Pierce me, baby. Pierce me! Wow. Wow. I am so... I am so confused. I thought... Alrighty, you know. Sure. Ooh, that's excellent. Heading towards garbage time, chat. Heading, heading solidly in the direction of garbage time. Not going to sit there. No time for a break. No time for a break. They need, they need spyglass like right now. Sure. I've worked my whole life. Yeah, I was actually thinking about. It. I need to work with my. My my graphics guy. I think we can get like a piece of garbage and then time underneath it, perhaps, for a garbage time emote. I have two emote slots, and one of them needs to be me in pink. I need to have Christy do that one. But a garbage time emote sounds like something we would definitely use. They have more cards in hand than me, but we've got plenty of land. So let's just go ahead and do this. Take a peek, boo. Wow. Well, that someone someone's real scared of Thief of Sanity over there. Where did where did Thief of Sanity hurt you, opponent? Uh, you never after a spell resolves, the active player gains priority. So after your opponent's Planeswalker resolves, you do not have an opportunity to kill it before they get a chance to activate it. No time for a break. Sorry, Lyra. I know, I understand what I'm doing to you, Lyra. And I ask you to please proudly take this, this one for the team, okay? You know, we know where we're sending you and we apologize in advance. Lyra taking one for cheap garbage time. I mean, if there was a deck that was like the captain of garbage time, Esper Control would definitely be it, right? Like Esper, Esper Control is like the captain of the garbage. I'm really kind of surprised they left this card in the counterspell matchup. Getting, getting Tormenting Voice counterspelled feels real bad. What? Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna have to shock Tefri, otherwise he's going to alt. There are 
are 32 cards in their deck, 37 in ours. Maybe I should just sabotage that. I mean, like, I just let this happen, right? Because I just exile it. I want to counter things that are scarier than that. Listen, chat, I was honest with you when we started this set of matches. This is this is Esper Control with a clickbait title, okay? You were I did not lie to you, okay? I was I was upfront about what you were about to experience. I was bamboozled. I can no longer stand by and hurry. Isn't it adorable how Tefri combos with Tefri? I think, I think it's adorable that Tefri counter combos with Tefri. Keep up, keep up the pace, yep. Of course you can have multiple Tefri emblems. This is America. Don't let don't tell don't let other people tell you how to live your life. You know, I actually should just take this hit, because the way they kill me is the way they kill me is by Niv Mizzet into a bunch of spells, so I just want to make sure that can't happen. Fleck Mister, thank you for the 10 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. We need to move quickly. What would you recommend to board into combat mono you as Simic Nexus? That archer card, the one four that fights things, is the is the one of your best cards against mono blue. That and the destroy target flying creature deal one damage to everything else. I guess Banefire is technically an out at this point. Midway Monster with the second month. Cashed in the Twitch Prime. Thanks for shipping your Bezo Bucks back this way again and keeping me employed. Man, I wonder... HC, thanks for the prime support. I appreciate that. Welcome. I wonder if just... So, playing these decks, this deck more and more, I wonder if the people just playing a couple of Kayas in the main, maybe that's just the answer to, like, making your clock be reasonable. Because, like, Kaya's, like, genuinely good against, like, white aggro and mono blue. And, like, does kill people with their ultimates at an okay rate. All right, so I just need to stay alive as long as possible. I think I take History of Benalia here. Looking to hit some land drops here too. Esper, a lot of Esper lists I've seen are playing one Kaya main and one in the board. Just Chromium. Chromium's been kind of mediocre in my experience, and I definitely want more than just well we're gonna get to play nova on five and i want more than just uh 
more than just Tefri to win game one. Yeah, Kaya is also fighting against Mono Red, and she's good against Drakes too, right? Like she's good against Terramander. She exiles Phoenixes, like. I agree, but un unimpressed with this card. Oh, we put the fear of settle in him. Don't play around settle the wreckage, chat. It's not it's not a good scene. Unless they're gonna go land elephant. Really, no elephant. <laughs> Do you have main deck counter spells? Nope. Got it. Good. The old 4-4 four, four for 5. Yoink! Can check check that one off the the things that were fun to do list that's wonderful there's so there's so many good yoink moments in this format it's silly it's just way way too many good yoink cards i'm just like oh wait a minute this is this is really good this is really good hmm. marshall 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 Come at me, Sky Marcher. What's going on, Mikey? I would like to draw some cards. Oh, I tapped an air. I'm not able to hold up Sinister Sabotage. That's fine. We're gonna be we're gonna be okay, I promise. Gonna be, it's gonna be all right. Do, 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 do. For people that missed the cackle, we made this thing smaller and then stole it. That's that's what the cackle was. Good times were had by all, and by all I mean me. So I don't think I like Duress in this matchup. I think I like Negate, though. Just because it's cheap enough to counter their Negates, fight over their Negates. Do I... Do I want Duress in this matchup? Maybe Duress is better than Negate. Let's give this a go. They do they do have counter spells in addition to history banalia. What are we what are we doing, opponent? I think I play Thought Erasure this turn, because I'd rather this get spell pierced than Moment of Craving get spell pierced. Stainful stroke. They left baffling end in. Do they expect me to board in Thief of Sanity? 
Like, one, Thief of Sanity's not even in my deck, but that seems like it would be a weird card for me to board in, even if it was. this turn they get to play this and then I get to oh magic's really tough when you're lucky has anybody else tried being lucky it makes the game a lot easier Is that 90% of Esper boards in Hostage Taker? I mean, Hostage Taker seems great because, like, you're an aggro deck, but Thief seems strange. It's like, I'm on, I'm, on, I'm on the sweeper plan in this matchup. Like, I'm going up to seven sweepers. So, like, having, having that seems like a strange addition. Like, don't get me wrong, Hostage Taker seems wonderful. Yeah, Hearthstone's very careful to not print targeted discard like duress and stuff like that just because the play patterns it tends to generate tend to be most people find miserable. You should be proud to have come so far. Should be proud to have come so far. Three hungry hippos. All right, hoping to draw a Lyra here. Chemister's Insight, Tefri, these are a few of my favorite things. If they minus the Ajani, I'm gonna play the Sweeper next turn. If they don't minus the Ajani, we'll probably wait a turn. Be strong. Be strong. I probably can't beat this Ajani alt though, huh? I could Nova Mode 2. That's probably reasonable, actually. It takes the Legion landing off the table, too. So I need to draw a Tefri or a Vraska's Contempt here. Or not. Thank you. I, I appreciate you. Take back all the bad things I've said about you, opponent. Oh, did they draw a negate? Okay, I guess that makes a lot of sense. I guess that makes a lot of sense. They're gonna, they're gonna kill me very quickly. I don't know, I get the ultimate kills me pretty quickly too. The negate, the negate like ensures they get to alt. I guess I'm dead in two here though. That was not the Lyra I wanted for Christmas. This was, this is like what Esper Control does when we play against it a lot of the time. You're just like, well, we drew a bunch of lands and then we died. Do I want the extra contempt knowing that they're on the Ajani plan? Probably, probably not unreasonable. I'm actually gonna go ahead and trim a Nova. Is that crazy? Is that crazy? I'm gonna trim a Knife Concoct. Delrethis, thank you for the 12 month resub. I appreciate that, welcome back. I knight thee, defender of the realm, go forth and protect us from Twitch chat. Those are, those are Esper colored lands. Ding, 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 sign me up. Okay. Um. I think I shipped this here. I think I shipped that. Perfect.
level 1 3. Here, I hear 1 3s are lovely this time of year, chat. Wait, anybody else hear that? Vraska's well, Contempt... Vraska's Contempt covers, uh... Covers a Johnny if they hit that, which is nice. Kinda waiting on a Lyra or some way to clean up the board. We are running a couple of hostage shakers, to be fair. So Takatli makes a lot of sense against that. Because they don't they don't want to really leave removal in their deck for a hostage shaker, just because like removal against us is so terrible. Uh, you've exiled my 1-3. Got me. Am I about to get negated? I'm about to get negated, aren't I? I'm gonna go ahead and moment of craving, because I assume neither of these are resolving next turn. They had Disdainful Stroke. Alright. Going to 12. there just a little scary i guess they're also like not really playing any pressure out here so that kind of makes sense all right so we're dead i, am proud I think we've died what I see in you. i am sorry Wolf. Alright, alright. We're just gonna call we're gonna call a spade a spade and be done with them. This is bad esper control. I think I'm gonna be I'm gonna be all done with this one. I think if you want to play something close to this, you should probably just play the more stock Esper control decks. I do think after seeing the decks that are in the format right now, I would probably play more Kaya's and Esper control and as as both win conditions and answers. But this is this this cute little package is is worse than just doing typical Esper control decks. I think if you want if you want to play win conditions, I would just play some Kaya's. Alright, we're gonna play we're gonna play another good deck. I might do more than two more. We'll see. We'll see how we're doing. We'll see how we'll see how many people we have stick through mono blue and elves. Do I have mono blue? I do have mono blue. 